In today's video, we're going to be playing some 1v1s, and we are actually doing our last three placement games of the season. So what what rank will somebody who was previously SSL get placed in in the brand new season of Rocket League? You guys will have to wait and find out. We had some insane shots, some insane mechanical plays, and some really smart plays as well. Uh, so you guys will really enjoy it, and I'll see you all in game number one. All right, getting into game number one, we need to play three games to get our placement, uh, to get our rank. So let's see, I actually just played against Kazi uh, in my warm-up game. Because I figured I had I had four games left to play, so I was like, I could record three games. But then I would just have, like, one game left to play, and that just seemed, like, a bit silly. So, I just played a warm-up game without recording. I was just kind of focused, grinding, you know, not talking. Kazi hit one of the craziest pinches I've ever seen. I mean, not, like, one of the craziest, I guess, pinches, like, speed-wise, but just, like, placement-wise with the pinch. Uh, it was one of the best pinches I've ever seen. But anyways, uh, he went for that boost, which... Obviously, it didn't really work out for him. I'm able to just save a little bit of boost off the kickoff there and get a good power shot. And he's not able to recover fast enough. Um, take this to the side here. See if we can get multiple resets. Go over it. Wow, he still got that. I actually thought that was quite a nice flip reset as well. I'll just hit that that way. i just fake this. Make sure he can't get a demo on me. He still gets the bump somehow. Like, dude, that's the thing about the Fennec. Where is he trying to pinch that, bro? I'm just going to take a 50. Should be able to get this. Um, that's the thing about the Fennec right there is that I jumped in the air. Like, I was in the air, I flipped. Right, and he still just drives into the ball and somehow gets a demo on me. So, I mean, well played from him, I guess, you know. Car, advantageous hitbox. Okay, I'll just go off the ceiling here. Busty. going to be able to save that. I'll just take this big boost here. And on Kazi. Fake this. Click that over him. Take this full boost here. Click over. Nice. He doesn't have any boost there, so he's got to challenge me eventually. And as long as I keep control of the ball and just make sure to keep an eye on him and his car, you know, I mean, he can grab a couple of boost pads there and just kind of try to defend with low boost. Um, but eventually, after a while, you kind of get sick of defending with low boost, so got to move on, got to make a challenge. Um, try to just flick that high. He's gonna have to save. Okay. Let's flip back here, make sure that he can't get the open net. No! Okay, well, he got the open net. Um, I mean, I could have touched this ball, like, as it was... Actually, no, I don't think I could have. Normally, like... I don't know. I just thought I could have caught up to that, um, but I kind of just overcommitted myself for a challenge that I shouldn't have. That's gonna work, though. Hey, that's... If you, if you notice right there, like, I think the reason I was able to get up to that and get such a powerful shot so easily was because of the longer hitbox of the Dominus. Um, and I think that that actually helped me out there. Oh, I kind of pinched that because I assumed that he was going to be jumping for it. Because uh, he's been going for a lot of pinches. Like, between last game and this game, he's just been going for non-stop pinches. So I assumed that if I tried to get that up, then he would have gone for a pinch. Um... I'm going to go for a pinch my own here. Yeah, that's going to be in my net. Oh, thankfully he touched that down, which actually helps me. If he just let that go off the backboard, I was not recovering to that. Nice, good save. Might be able to get this. Oh, I could have shot that first time. Um, Would have been in the net, but that's alright. Fake this. Try to just shoot that on far side. And not the best shot. I gotta get back to net here pretty much immediately, because if he decided to shoot that off the wall, then he would have actually gotten the goal. It's a good challenge there, good heads up play. Should just be able to shoot that in. Nice, good shot there. Good shot, just barely beat him out. Perfect. Good challenge as well. Good confident challenge. You know, you want to make sure that, you know, if your opponent doesn't keep the ball close in ones, you want to challenge pretty much as soon as you see a free opportunity. And he hit the ball far away enough from him. Uh, from himself that I knew that I could challenge that. He might try to take my boost here. Okay, he doesn't actually. I'll just let him hit that across. That's gonna be a free goal. Oh, I missed the shot. That's unlucky. Okay. Take this boost here. Fake that. Uh-oh. Bad recovery. Really, really bad recovery. Okay. Go here. Try to take a 50. Nice, good shot there. Good shot, not much to say. Just kind of a standard kickoff goal. 
Um, I did, I will say, like, in the game, in the warm-up game I had, it was nice because I didn't really have any pressure to do well. And I, I didn't play the, I didn't play well in the warm-up game. Like, I mean, he beat me in the warm-up game. And I didn't really have any pressure to do well. And so because of that, I, I was able to purely focus on the mistakes I was making and correct them without having to worry about, like, doing YouTube commentary or being like, oh, those aren't mistakes I would normally make or, or make any sort of, like, excuse or whatever, right? And so I think that helped me for this game, and that might be something I start doing all the time. Because, like, I had a bad kickoff. Uh, I, you know, did one of the corner kickoffs, and I just, like, kind of came onto it from the side. And ever since then, I've just been completely fixed. So anyways, we'll get right into game number two. See you all then. Getting into game number two. We're playing against Steel here. Let's get into it. It's been a little bit since game number one. Approximately took me about seven minutes to find this game, which uh, isn't the best. That's all right. I think it's still here. I'm gonna cut off the angle to the net, see if he just challenges that. Stay on the ball to get a 50. I don't think he's gonna go straight for the ball. Well, he might now, so I'll just shoot that on target. Force him to make a save, see if I can turn on this. Oh, that's a good uh, challenge from him. I should be able to take this around though. My zone gold? No, I didn't. Perfect. Just as I drew it up there. Okay, he thinks that I don't have any boost here, which... Ooh. Dude, so he went for the demo there. And, I mean, obviously getting the demo kind of like forces me to, you know, avoid the demo. But because I had to avoid the demo by, you know, just, just hitting the brakes, um, he's just able to score the ball, so... Oh, that's a good, that's a good flick. Good kickoff from him, good flick. Okay, I'm not really locked in. I gotta get locked in right now. Y'all gotta give me a second. All right, I'm locked in. Take this big boost here. Wait on this. Okay. 50 that. Try to take this boost here. Do the demo, maybe. Yeah, do it. He's gonna have that. I'll try to take this, uh... Use pads here. Get back here. See if I can grab a couple of pads before I go for the... That's a great fake from him. He knew that it was unlikely that he scored that, um, just based on my positioning and based off of, I guess, I don't know, his confidence in his own dribble. And because of that, he just left it and just went for boost, which is fine, because I still had to save it anyways. And he knew that, oh, that's a good flick. I thought he was gonna fake it. I thought he was gonna fake it. Okay, that's unlucky. Um, cheat up here. this let him go I'll hit that across let this touch fake this try to hit that over yeah I'll try to get a demo on him dude this guy is is very tricky like he knows exactly when I'm gonna go for a demo exactly when I'm gonna go for the flick when I'm gonna go for the challenge yeah, nice Unfortunately, he got the uh, he got a recovery off the off the backboard there, so he was able to just drive around and get it. He's gonna be low there though. I stay on this. I don't think he'll be able to turn this, but I'll just uh... Is that in. No, we're good. I'll be able to get this full boost. I'll th I think he's getting my corner, so might have to wait on this. Yeah, I can take this up. He went back. Nice, good air dribble demo there. Honestly, just uh, fell perfectly with the ball. Kept it right under me the whole time, and then I'm able to use a little bit of boost to accelerate there. Try to get a demo there. Take this. Dang. There we go. Nice shot. Nice shot. Alright. Try to fit to this left here. Never mind. As soon as I saw where his car was going, I was like, ooh, I shouldn't 50 to the left there. I should take a 50 to the right. And uh, sure enough, it works out. Should be able to score this. Nice. Dude, if I had gotten like demoed or something there. Oh, man. Oh, man. Controller goes through the monitor. Not really. I don't really get that mad at this game anymore. Uh, I mean, I think there's definitely times where I get frustrated, you know? But as far as like actually getting frustrated enough to like break something, I've never done that. Well, there was one time that my fist accidentally went into the drywall, but that wasn't like me intentionally trying to break the drywall. That was just like 
me putting my fist into the wall out of anger after losing seven ones games in a row all by one goal. But, like, it wasn't like a... I didn't mean to actually break anything. I was just kind of like, ah. And I kind of, like, hit the wall on the way out of my room in frustration. And then when I came back to the room, there was a hole in the wall. Which I didn't know how it got there. I was like, oh, that's weird. How the hell did that happen? And then, yeah, it was because of the... Anyways. It's kind of a strong touch there. I can only really take a 50. I got to recover. It's not going to matter. He's going to have that. Mmm. I tried to I tried to just take a really good 50 there, but unfortunately it went off the corner and then up. If it went to like either of the sides or if it had stalled, it probably would have been fine. But because it went off the corner, the goal and like up the field, he was pretty much just able to get an instant counterattack and then Is he gonna go for that instant? Yeah, he is. Okay. I think I have the boost advantage here. I'll just try to take that. I don't think he got that mid boost, which means that I can take this. I'll be able to take this down. Gotta get a demo. Yeah, he didn't even bite. That's fine. Take this. Nice. I'll just wait. Yeah, he actually went up. That's a great challenge from him. He's gonna be off the wall with boost now too. He's gotta flip. Nice. I should be able to stay on this and try to get a shot. Perfect. Good shot. Good shot there. Good read on where his shot was going and a good counterattack there. Alright, I'll cheat up here. Nice. Good shot. Good stuff there. Good stuff. Good kickoff. I mean, he, he approaches the those kickoffs like very like, I don't know, side on, I guess. So if I just approach it from the, from the middle, then it, it works out really well for me. I'm just gonna fake this. Try to bait him in. Now, because I baited him in and because he had to like fake that challenge really close to me, um, you know, it makes it a lot harder for him to get a good save with a lot of momentum. Okay, I can go for a double here. Oh, that kind of popped up. Luckily, I mean, you know, the ball still popped up. It still made it harder for him to uh, actually control that. I'm gonna fake this. Or, I'm, I'm not gonna like dive in there as far as like actually using a flip and stuff. All I need to do is drive into the ball. Because if he... Psycho? Maybe I shouldn't be going for a Psycho when I'm up by two with five seconds left. But hey, that works, right? Um, I'm just going to leave that. GG. Um, we'll go right into game number three. See you all then. All right. Getting into game number three. We're playing against Jerry. We actually got this game pretty instantly. So hopefully I'm still warm. Oh, he's using the grass boost, dude. He's using the grass boost. Interesting. See if it's really that overpowered. Wow, you actually cannot see that boost at all. Wow, you cannot see him boosting at all. He was just hovering to get up to the ball. That is crazy. I thought you could see it like a little bit. No, you. there is zero pixels on my screen that change when he's boosting. Imagine like a weird twisted world where playing on 4K monitors becomes the normal instead of like t playing on 1080p 240 fps because people are like oh my god like we can see grass boost on on 4k resolution so we have to use we have to use these 4k monitors <laughs> that'd be insane and then every single person on the twitch broadcast like would just never be able to see the boost oh i did not get the boost there that's gonna be tough gotta take a really good 50. it's still not gonna matter i mean i can get that and then get that as well gotta watch for the bump yeah i have no boost here this is gonna be so tough gotta let him shoot that yeah he just got that okay. i was kind of hoping he would just have a bad sorry my nose itch is really bad i was kind of hoping he would just have like a bad shot but he just didn't take 50. put a bump on him He's probably gonna take that. Yeah, he's got it. No! Okay, nice shot, nice shot. All right, we're good though. We're good, we're fine. Everything's okay. Nothing bad it's happening. Okay, take 50. Nice. Okay. I can take this. Try to pop this up. Try to go over. Double, nice, good double there. Good double. As soon as he like faked the jump and then went back down, I knew he was gonna have a hard time defending it, so. Okay. 
Good 50. Oh, I got bombed. Okay, that's fine, though. I can fake this. Nice. I was faking the fake there. You know. Bump? No, nope, no bump. Okay. I can get that, though. Nice. Kind of an awkward play here. I don't want to let him turn on that, though. But I also didn't want to give him that boost for free. So I had to kind of fake going for the boost to see where he would hit it. And then... Oh, that's just a free goal for him. I was hoping to get in front of that, but instead I accidentally just helped him by hitting it out towards the mid instead of just letting it go up the wall. So that was a bad play for me. All good, though. I was kind of hoping to, like, sandwich that in between the wall and his car, so then that way... Okay. No! Wait, it's gonna go out. Shoot it up, right? No. Over him. No! Dude! Yeah, he still probably got plenty of boost here as well. Okay, never mind. If he's touching that and then backing off like that, then he does not have any boost at all. Try to get a demo on him. Don't get the demo. I do get a little bit of a bump, though, and... I am able to hit the ball up the wall for myself. He's gonna have that. He recognized that I didn't get the flip reset or any sort of like potent touch there. Nice, good dive. Gotta watch. He just faked. Click that that way. Fake this, stay on it, okay. Nice, he's probably just gonna take this back, okay. I'm gonna wait on this. Hit it over him? No, he didn't he didn't make that mistake. It's a good recovery onto the backboard for him. And he keeps possession of the ball with it. I'll be able to turn on this. Fake. I think I'm faking a little bit too much. Like I think he just knows that I'm faking now. And you know, obviously when your opponent knows that you're faking, it's just not gonna be effective. Because the point of the fake is to actually get them to most times the point of the fake is to get them to either hesitate. Or get them to, like, you know, lose possession of the ball because they hesitated, or... I mean, a lot of the times, the point of the fake challenge is just to get a little bit closer, right? It's not necessarily to throw in a good, convincing fake. But at the same time, if you do throw in a couple of absolutely unhinged challenges here and there, like, they're going to be second-questioning your fake, and then they will give the ball away instead of just being like... I'll try to get a bump there. That's an insane play. Little, uh, little air dribble pop-up, flip reset, scoop, air dribble bump. Ooh. We'll take that. We'll take that one for sure. Okay, he keeps on doing these wave dash kickoffs, which are actually working out really well for him. Um, oh, he touched that. If he doesn't touch that, free goal, but obviously he touched it, so... I'm gonna have to... I can take this boost here. Is he gonna touch? Oh, he didn't touch. He faked it. Oh my god, that is such a good air dribble. That is such a good air dribble. I had to stop talking during that because I don't know about you guys, whenever I go for something crazy mechanical or even just something like normally mechanical, I always have to stop talking when I go for it um, because I just have to focus up, which is part of why... I Dude, like, when I when I used to play competitively in, like, CRL, my comms and the information I gave my teammates was so bad because some of the times I just, like, made it up. Because I was, like, I couldn't be bothered. Not that I couldn't be bothered, but I physically could not think about what I was doing and think about what I was saying at the same time. So if I was going for an air dribble or, like, a flip reset, I would just go silent. And my teammates were like, dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, <laughs> and they didn't know, like, where to position themselves uh, because I wasn't making any sound. That was a good, uh... Good reset from, or not a good reset, but a good kickoff from Jerry. Again, with the wave dash kickoffs, he's just kind of stalling the ball out really nicely for himself. And because he's doing that, um... Ooh! Okay, get it over him. Nice. Try to take this... Or just, just go towards the mid boost here. Nice. Good 50. It's gonna be out for him, though. Try to just challenge that without actually jumping, because I don't want to commit to that. I'll just make sure to take that, and I just gave him an open net for, for no reason. I didn't think he was going to shoot that, you know? I thought I was going to take the boost, and then he was going to try to, like, control the ball, and then he wouldn't have boost, and then he wouldn't have a good play on the ball. But, uh, obviously that didn't happen. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to try to take this. Whoa! No. Not going to go. Can I spawn on the... Nope, spawn on the wrong side. No, dude, I spawned on the wrong side. 
Oh my god. Okay, so I should have hit that either towards the other corner or just like not flipped so that he could get me when he was landing. I think I can get this boost. Nice, I can. Try to hit that over. Okay, stay on this. Just gonna keep on hitting it over just to make sure that he can't touch it. I mean, I think he has enough boost here to uh, to make a play, but he's gonna make sure that he can't. Nice. Kind of bullied him off the ball there by threatening the demo. Try to shoot that on. Okay. Is he gonna go for a pinch? He does. He's going back now. I'll try to flick this on. Fake this. Okay. Fake this as well. Go over him. Nice. Shoot this on. Okay, fake. Didn't have enough boost to shoot that there. I can go for a flip reset here. What just happened? Did I get the flip reset or not? I'm kind of confused. He has no boost here at all. Or maybe like 20, but... I can shoot this. Oh, cannot shoot that. Well, I could have, but I just suck. I'm gonna take this boost here. Fake going off the ceiling so that I can get this. Take this boost. Nice. Try to flick that high. Oh, I flipped the wrong way. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No! That's so disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. I just flipped the wrong way. I was just like, my car was tilted the wrong way. And anyways, with that absolutely devastating loss, we get ranked at SSL. Whoa. Okay, now people in my TikTok live streams can stop commenting that I'm not SSL. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you all next time. Peace.